5 was announced. Oh my god, Halo 5 was announced. <sighs> I've missed out on a whole week of speculation. Okay. Okay. Whew. Whew. Okay. So, as I'm sure you all know, I missed out on some major news this past weekend. To make a long story short, I was out of town and Halo 5 was officially announced and named on Friday. Early in the morning of May 16th, hints at major Halo related news were made via Twitter. Hours later, an article was posted on Xbox Wire, written by 343's very own Bonnie Ross, announcing Halo 5's release for autumn of 2015 and revealing why Halo 5 had not been given an official title until now. One of the most popular ideas behind 343 calling Halo 5 Halo Xbox One at the E3 announcement was that Halo 5, and possibly all subsequent titles, would be subtitled. This was confirmed to be true with Halo 5 being titled Guardians. There is a lot of talk concerning this announcement, and as the day of May 16th unfolded, more and more news came to light. So, without further delay, let's take a look at the bomb that was dropped this past weekend. Along with the article on Xbox Wire, 343 released the second piece of Halo 5 related concept art. Boy, did it send the community into a frenzy. The first thing we notice is two Spartans, one being the Master Chief. The other Spartan, and the one who seems to be the focus of this piece, is an unknown. Now, when I first saw this, I and Apparently many others thought it was a female Spartan, so could it have been Palmer, Naomi, or as some thought, and dear god am I thankful this is not true, Cortana? As it turned out, this Spartan was in fact a male, with an apparently very feminine build, and not a character we have met before. With these two announcements, people jumped onto recent news about the Ridley Scott feature that announced TV vet Mike Coulter, known for his roles in ER, some of the Law & Order spinoffs, and several more, has been cast as a character named Marlo. The character's description is as follows. Marlo, a rising star in a futuristic army who is troubled by aspects of the military-industrial complex he inhabits. Approaching combat situations with caution and logic, he inspires loyalty in his fellow Spartans. Now, Marlo seems like a strong candidate, if only because he's new, he's a Spartan, and we know nothing about him. Next, let's take a look at this Spartan's armor. The first thing you should notice is how new it is. Could this simply be a new, specialized variant of Mjolnir Gen 2? Or, as some have speculated, Mark 7? Also worthy of note is the fact that this armor features an Oni logo, meaning this Spartan works directly with the Office of Naval Intelligence. This has led many to believe that the Chief may be on the run from Oni or has gone rogue in some sense, and that this new Spartan is hunting the Chief down. Another popular line of thought harkens back to the first cinematic from Halo 4, where Halsey is interrogated by an unknown person. Near the end of the cinematic, Halsey suspects that the UNSC and or Oni is trying to quote-unquote replace the Master Chief. Do you think the Spartans' lack of basic humanity helped? What are you after? The others before you were naval intelligence, but you... You're something else. Do you believe the Master Chief succeeded because he was, at his core, broken? What does John have to do with this? You want to replace him? The Master Chief is dead. His file reads, missing in action. What this means exactly is unknown. Replace him in the public mind, replace him as a legendary galaxy saving Spartan or something else entirely. But many cannot help but wonder if this new Oni Spartan is that replacement. Whoever this character is, he is clearly going to play a major role in Halo 5. One cannot help but wonder if Halo 5 may have a split campaign like Halo 2 did. Might we be playing as the Chief as he is doing... whatever? And switching over to this new character who, as some have speculated, is hunting the Master Chief down for whatever reason. Before moving on, let's talk about the subtitle for Halo 5 Guardians. What does Guardians really mean? The concept of the Guardians has been in Halo since day one. In multiplayer, if a player dies from something other than combat or suicide, the kill will be credited to the Guardians. A classic example of this is a vehicle spawning on top of a player and killing him slash her. A more recent example would be the towers on Halo 3's sandbox, which kill players with deadly lasers. 
The Guardians are often associated with the Forerunners, and since this is the Reclaimer Saga, and we've been dealing with a lot of Forerunners lately, it makes sense to draw the conclusion that Guardians, in terms of Halo 5, would refer to the Forerunners in some way, not to mention the Halo 3 map Guardian and the cut Guardian Sentinels. In addition, there's a possible hint from the Didact himself in Halo 4's epilogue. We are Forerunners, guardians of all that exists. The roots of the galaxy have grown deep under our careful tending. Where there is life, the wisdom of our countless generations has saturated the soil. It's not much, but points again towards a Forerunner reference. However, if we really want to stretch this, let's look at who slash what were the original Guardians of the Galaxy and all life in it, the Precursors. Again, this is really stretching things, this is pure speculation at its worst. But with all the emphasis I've put on Precursors slash Flood returning during this saga, you can't really blame me for making that connection. Well, yeah, you probably can. Moving on, along with this announcement, we were also gifted with a new piece of concept art. This art lends itself to a lot of speculation, so let's dive right in. The first thing we might notice is the desert and the celestial objects in the background. It's hard to say whether these are moons or suns, but the popular theory seems to be suns. I first thought they looked like moons near sunset, but I don't think it really matters that much at this point. The big thing in this picture is, to me, the statue of what looks like a Sangeli in the background. You can very clearly make out two manual guards, as seen on classic Sangeli armor, and what looks like an energy sword or a carbine. This has led many, myself included, to conclude that this location may in fact be Sangelios, or a Sangeli colony of some sort. I personally like to think that this is in fact Sangelios. If it is true, could this be a way to get the Arbiter involved with Halo 5's campaign? Again, speculation at its worst. This also brings up the question as to whether the location in this concept is the same location we see in the Halo 5 teaser from E3 last year. I personally want to lean towards no, but there's no way to determine that for sure. We are talking about concept art versus a fully rendered video, and in the end, neither is completely indicative of what we'll actually see in Halo 5. Not long after this piece was released, a Halo Cannon fan over on Facebook sent me something very interesting. In the background of this concept piece, we can see squid-like creatures floating around. Fan of the channel Nita Rocha, and I hope I pronounced your name right, Nita, show me that similar creatures appear in the concept art for Halo 4. It could possibly indicate that the buildings we see in the concept piece are in fact Forerunner, since Halo 4's concept art was primarily set on Requiem. Then again, the creatures may not be indicative of anything since they never appear in Halo 4 as far as I know, but it's fun to speculate, right? Thanks, Nita. Finally, let's circle back to the actual announcement and the wake it left. In a report by Venture Beats, Bonnie is quoted as saying, The Chief's in a very different, challenging place. He's questioning everything. He's questioning his past, his purpose, what he's fighting for, why he's fighting. As we look on Xbox One, we want to be very deliberate with the story we're telling with Chief. This is about his journey. It's about his past. It's about his future. That last line strangely echoes Cortana in the Halo 3 announcement trailer. I know you. Your past. Your future. It's most likely Bonnie having some fun, but it was a nice touch for the dedicated lore fans. VB's report ended with Bonnie saying that it's unlikely we'll hear anything about Halo 5 until near the end of the year, or early next year. I think then it's safe to say that we shouldn't expect a trailer at E3 this year, but we could still be surprised. All in all, this is exciting news. Many fans, myself included, have been hoping for Halo 5 to be a 2015 release. Let's face it, it would need it for the dev time. Still, Miss Ross did say that our Xbox One journey would start in 2014, with both Ross and Frank O'Connor having confirmed that there is more Halo to come at E3, along with a release of some kind later this year. Since the announcement, rumors of Halo 2 Anniversary have spiked again, along with rumors of Halo War 2. Of the two, I think the latter would be the better option, but I personally would like to see a new game to bridge Halo 4 and Halo 5. This is the Reclaimer Saga, after all. In regards to Halo 2 Anniversary, rumors have also popped up about a Master Chief collection, set to release later this year. The collection would ideally include Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4, focusing entirely on the story of the Master Chief up until now. The idea does echo aspects of the NeoGAF leaks from January, which said a version of Halo 2 Anniversary would feature ports of Halo 3 and Halo 4. While the logical and rational half of my brain tells me to keep calm and stay skeptical, 
My inner fanboy has been giddy since Saturday and won't let me sleep. I mean, seriously. Shut up. It's been an exciting weekend for a number of reasons, and the coming weeks are only going to get better from my point of view. E3 is now three weeks away, which will be kicked off with Microsoft's E3 media briefing. I haven't gotten much sleep as of late, and I don't expect that to change anytime soon. Thanks for watching. This has been Halo Cannon. I'll see you next time, Spartans. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Also, please be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. All your support is extremely welcome. Thank you all.